Hello Cancerians, thank you so much for watching this video and let's see what cards are showing up for you this week and how it can improve your week and also if you're new to this channel, welcome and uh, in this reading I'm going to do a tarot reading for you for this week so for all Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and of course if you are interested in a personal tarot reading you can always order a tarot reading at healingtarot.net then I will draw the cards um, only for you so let's see what's coming up for Cancer. You might have been in the past um, very much putting a lot of effort and energy in someone or something. And we're going to look later on what, is this ex what this exactly is. But at the moment, so this week there will be a lot of changes coming up, like major changes. So things that will make that... Uh, you cannot turn back. It's really like a change that you probably, you accept this and this is something that transforms your life. Um, yeah, drastically, <laughs> but um, I think in a good way. Let's just see. Uh, the Nine of Wands is showing up together with the Ten of Swords in reverse. So maybe you are very careful. So maybe when I said like, let's see how this turns out, good or bad, maybe you're already a little bit like, oh, that's exciting. But I, I actually, tarot readings are always, um, yeah, life is life. I mean, uh, you can cannot make it worse than things are in reality. So don't be afraid. I will, uh, yeah, just do a tarot reading for you. Um, to see well, how you can also improve this situation. So in the past we got uh, the Queen of Swords and Upright together uh, clarified with the Eight of Wands in reverse and the Eight of Pentacles. And this indicates that you, so you have been putting a lot of energy in something but maybe this wasn't really um, seen as such so maybe you didn't even feel like this was a very big effort because for you maybe this is normal this is something you like to do um, and maybe you even uh, did more so than you right now are aware of for someone or in a job and that makes that the other party uh, for them the eight of pentacles is showing up so they they like to continue with something with you. So if this is in regard to a job or a career, it could be that you have been putting so much effort in something or you were so enthusiastic about something and they're very happy with you probably. And they're also going to maybe make that there's more coming out of this. I think with the eight of wands in reverse, um, you might have done this because things went pretty slow. So you have been putting a little bit more in energy and effort in something. And maybe also because you thought that there was some miscommunication. So maybe you thought, I, I just have to fix this, otherwise things get worse or um, maybe things go wrong. So you was really, uh, in, in, a, in, in a way, you tried to manage the situation to everyone's favor and that it was working out fine. So I'm really curious about the Eight of Wands in reverse. And I get the Three of Cups and the Two of Wands in, in Upright to clarify the Eight of Wands. So, yeah, I think you was afraid to um, maybe even to disappoint someone or that you will lo lose a friend or that someone didn't like you anymore. So this, this is why you put a lot of effort in this um, relationship or friendship. So big changes are coming up. I think this person is really appreciating what you did more so than you are aware of and so um, that's maybe also why you are waiting here for something to come in but I think that it's not it's not that you expect something from them but I think that there will be something coming in from this person because they have they appreciate so they appreciate it so much that you was there for them it could also be the other way around that someone was there for you uh, but you uh, didn't see this actually that they were there for you that's also a possibility for some of you so in that case um, they already know right now that you didn't receive a certain message or that something didn't came through or that there was some kind of miscommunication but I think honestly I think for most of you it's you that um, took this responsibility and took these efforts uh, in this relationship or friendship to make things better. 
to make sure that this friendship didn't went sour. So the Wheel of Fortune is showing up in reverse and you're up on your conscious level. And it's clarified by the Three of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah. So I think you prevented something to go uh, worse. So you really prevented something that maybe you already, how do you say it in English? And in Dutch we say fangnet. <laughs> it's like a situation where you already prepare everything that nothing can go wrong. So you have like option B, uh, like option A, option B, option C uh, to just make sure everything is going heading in the right direction. So this might seem to be unfortunate in the for first place but actually it's now working out good and it's working out fine. I think here in this tarot reading that uh, someone is really able to give or share something with you even though in the middle of the week maybe they're responding a little bit apathic or they don't want something from you uh, they don't, do not accept something they might say no to something some kind of offer but this is more because the Ace of Cups is also showing up in reverse for them so maybe they 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 do feel a lot of love for you that's in the first place what I see but at the moment they are processing something in regards to their emotions and feelings because also the Queen of Swords on their side indicates that they're very much they try to seek balance between logic and their feelings to not come over as irrational I, I guess so let's see what's coming up more uh, there's by the way a lot of court cards in this tarot reading so that means there, there's probably a lot of people involved or you are, this, this is in regard to a group of people or maybe some things that you organize for your work or for private, in your private life. So there's, there are more people involved here. Um, I get the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, uh, the Queen of Wands. So yeah, a lot of court cards. So there's a lot of uh, people involved, but I think this reading, because the Queen of Swords is showing an upright and the other court cards in reverse, I think that this person is really strong with with logic and maybe they they are um, they find it most important to do things in a very logical order, for example. So if you are waiting for them to respond to you I think they will first do the things that are best to do first, first things first and then after that doing the other things because they are probably related to each other and I think also that these other people that are involved um, it's almost like they are trying to find a way not to please everyone or maybe they do because the king, king of uh, pentacles is also showing up in reverse at their side so they might try to please everyone I think in the first place you were the, were the one who was trying to maintain this relationship and to keep this on the on the on the the right path and in the right direction. But they are also really willing to collaborate. They are also doing their best to make this work. And it might maybe I don't know if you can see this reading from them uh, because the Eight of Wands is showing up in reverse in the past, so you might have not received some messages or in, or interpret, interpret in the wrong way. Even the King of Swords is showing up. I think really like here the, the most strong court cards that are represented here are the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. Uh, so and these people are very like they are always having um, a solution to a problem. If there's a problem they are very good in problem solving, very good in analysis, um, they get to the core of the matter and that's very important probably in this case and that's what this other person is doing right now so whoever you're dealing with this person is going to the core of the matter so for example if you're having a court case I think this 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 is definitely a good lawyer this is someone who can separate the wheat from the chaff and also the, the nonsense from the important things so they they are very good I think this this if you're asking if this is a lawyer and if it's a good lawyer I would say yes 
Um, maybe how you see it is that they're a little bit impractical or they're trying to please everyone a little bit too much. Maybe also because in the way they talk to you. Uh, but in fact this person is not so much, they respond in a friendly way because they know that this is the best way how to do it. But it's mostly from a mental um, perspective how they respond to things. So it's not so much to only please people, that's the feeling I've got. But this person, maybe this liar costs a lot of money for example. So it's not someone cheap, it's someone who is also fin finance is important. Someone who wants to help you, wants to give solutions, but they are maybe a little bit more, um, yeah, materialistic, or they 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 see the value more of money and uh, everything they already have and everything you have. So even though it's a queen queen of swords and a king of swords, I don't think this person is throwing away things easily, although it might be. Um, but only if that's the best thing to do. So we're throwing away, I think, about stuff, about uh, material items, about spending too much money. I think this person is only spending money uh, pretty wise in a uh, in a way that they're already calculating what is needing, what they need or what you need already in, in the future. So they're not only thinking about the now, but there's also very future oriented. So. Yeah, in regards to money, you might see this might seem a little bit impractical in some way. Mm, maybe there's a lot of planning involved here with the emperor in reverse. Uh, so maybe you need to organize things better in order to know what kind of decision you have to make. But I think if you if you need a um, need a solution, I think there's people around you in the middle of the week uh, that are able to help you with financial knowledge or with knowledge in general this is some kind of teacher may, maybe that's crossing your path someone who knows how to make decisions someone who knows from experience but also knows because of facts uh, so they're collecting information and after that they make a decision based upon this so um, yeah so in the end of the week you get the six of pentacles the justice tarot card and the four of swords so I think that if you wonder, like, if you're going to share or exchange something with another person, it's a yes. And I think this other person has a lot of rest by doing this. So maybe your, your um, yeah, skills of management uh, are very important this week because of the Queen of Wands. So this will really help you to move forward. I think you already did a great job in the past. And because of that, this is now developing. Uh, in a way that you're probably going to exchange something with this person, um, maybe in order uh, in exchange of money, so you're giving money and this person is doing something for you, or this is just about exchanges, like exchanging stories, for example. Um, I think that you will get to the um, yeah to the truth to uh, what is really going on. That facts are yeah getting more clear with the justice tarot card and also that something is is for your highest good so but this exchange is probably for your highest good you probably need to be there at that certain place or you need to be there to exchange this certain thing and this person finds a lot of rest in this as well if this is about a love relationship well there are definitely changes going on right now because that person is really going to make decisions based upon um, yeah, based upon uh, their mind and not so much their heart, while they do feel have a lot of feelings for you. Um, because I think this person really wants to do what's best for everyone. That's the feeling I've got in the first, uh, yeah, when I see these cards at first, I see that they really want to do their best to make things better. So if this person have been hurting you in the past, or if this person had did something in the past that um, yeah, that was really unfortunate, or maybe there happened something that was just very unfortunate. This um, this person is trying to solve this rationally, and because the theme of the tarot reading is the nine of wands and the ten of swords in reverse, I do feel you give them a second chance. And I think also that this um, yeah, you are still afraid of being hurt maybe by this person 
And it could even be that if you're doing this certain exchange with this person, so maybe you are speaking up about something, they are they are probably taking a break or they have some rest. But it's it's hard to see right now. It's not that you can say, oh, they're taking a break. Oh, if if that happens in the future, then I'm not going to do uh, certain things. It you really need to yeah live life, and you cannot read tarot cards all the time in to <laughs> to find out what you. Um, yeah, you can you can use it as an inspiration, but it's best to um, know that the strength of this person is really that solu the, finding those solutions. So I think this is also something in your benefit because the Queen of Wands is showing up for you, and the Queen of Wands is about managing people. So what the skills they have are is all are also the skills you have when you stay in contact with this person so they have something to offer to you it's not that they do not have anything to offer and uh, so whether they are whether you want still to be in a relationship with, with them or not i think this person is is interesting to um yeah to the further process of whatever you're going through at the moment i don't say that you have to stay in a toxic relationship i'm also not saying that you have to make a decision based upon the star reading. Um, this is just an inspiration, so always take responsibility for your own life. But what I see here, there, there are some more coming up. Uh, so I don't see complete endings. I do see changes. And I do see that um, this will naturally evolve. Yeah, and I think you are having more like a patient approach. approach patient patient approach and this other person they might also be an air sign so uh, Gemini Aquarius or Libra but this person is is really um, yeah they, they, they also see opportunities in this connection with you but I think that you might want to organize things a little better because the Emperor is showing up here first so and also, this the emperor is not only about organizing things, but it's also about um, yeah, not to be over, not to be overbearing towards the other person. Because the queen of pentacles, clarified by the emperor, could indicate that um, yeah, it's just not practical to do so because you might need this person later on. So um, yeah, so overall, I think this is a, a pretty positive reading, but there's a lot of changes go going on at the moment and it really depends on what what you are going to choose to do and this is just an insight if you like to have a personal tarot reading just go to healingthrow.net also check your sun moon rising and venus signs in my other videos thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video